we've got y equals 3 to the x. And that was to graph it in this interval, negative 1 to 2. So we set up a table with our x and our y values. Now y is equal to 3 to the x, right? That's the equation. So for, for the y value, I'll just write 3 to the x. So if they give you these x values right here, I would just choose the integers, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, uh, and that's it. Plug these in, so we have 3 to the negative first, right? That's just 1 over 3. And then 3 to the 0, which is just 1. And then 3 to the first, which is 3. And, uh, sorry, not 2. 3 to the second, which is 3 squared, or 9. So here, uh, I would set up my axes, right? y-axis, x-axis. And they want this in the interval of x is negative 1 up to 2. So we're just going to graph that. So here's negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So we plot these points. We have negative 1 when it's the value of x, and y is 1 third. So here, since we are dealing with a third, it's a little difficult on this scale. Um, I can't actually, I don't have room to break because I'm going all the way to 9 and thirds. I'm just going to estimate. And I want to put this little point right here, and I would label it as negative 1, 1 third. So it's clear. And then I have 0, 1. So 0, 1. I have 1, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 2, 9. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now here's the thing. When you graph this, you don't want to show a line between. You want to show this curvature. Because exponential function grows so fast. And if you need to extend it, you can. Just make sure you don't cross 0. Because as it goes past negative 1, it will approach 0 but never hit it. Because you get these tiny, tiny fractions. But never actually 0.